My name's Bill Irvin. I'm lead design engineer on the Haven't Thicket project. My role on the project is to coordinate all of the design elements across the project, including the reservoir itself, the pipeline, the pumping station, and downstream treatment works and connections into the network, providing water across to Southern Waters region. The proposed site for the reservoir has been owned by Portsmouth Water since 1965 and covers 160 hectares. It sits next to Rowlands Castle and Lee Park and is bordered to the north by Forestry England Woodland at Haven't Thicket and Staunton Country Park lies to the south which is owned by Hampshire County Council. The area is currently grassland and open space with areas of trees. The site has been chosen as perfect place for a reservoir because it sits in a valley on clay soils which provides a natural seal for water. This means we'll be able to dig and shape the reservoir, predominantly using the existing material on the site. The reservoir would fill the majority of the site, it will be up to 18 metres deep in places, and it will be about one mile long from east to west, and half a mile wide from north to south. The water will be contained by a sloping embankment, which will run along three sides of the reservoir and up to 20 metres high in places, with a new wetland habitat area created along its northern edge. The embankment will be mainly constructed from clay, soils excavated on site, but we will need to bring some material to site for drainage and for the internal lining. The embankment will have a grass covering on the outer slope and a rocky surface lining the embankment at the water's edge, protecting the structure from waves. We've looked at the position and design of the embankment and made a number of alterations to avoid the hedges near the western boundary of the site and slight realignments to reduce the number of trees that will need to be taken out at Roundwood and the Avenue, both of which are ancient woodland. This includes increasing the space between the western boundary and the embankment, making the southwestern edge slightly straighter and shortening the eastern bank. We've also looked at making slopes slightly steeper in places to reduce the land required to build the embankment and minimise tree loss. We will need to build a control house on the southwestern section of the embankment and a new access road as well. And the options for these routes will be discussed separately by my colleague Andy Hills. When full, the reservoir will be able to hold about 8.7 billion litres of water. That's enough to supply 160,000 people during an average year. It will take nine years to plan, build and fill the reservoir. Everything is scheduled to be complete and the reservoir full of water and open to the public by 2029. We're aiming to have achieved planning permission to enable us to start on site with enabling works through to 2023, creating the access road, preparing the site and diverting footpaths. From 2023, we can then commence construction of the embankment and reservoir itself, digging out the clay and building the reservoir We'll also be laying the pipeline to transfer water from the pumping station at Bedhampton up to the reservoir itself. From 2027, we can start to construct the amenity provisions on site, including new pathways, a visitor centre and facilities. All works should be finished by 2029.